Hey guys, welcome back to Lego Code after a long time. Today we are going to learn how to use the Playwright VS Code extension that is developed by me. Okay, so already know that we have the extension. So if you go to the uh, VS Code Marketplace, probably I can go from here. So go to your extension, search for Playwright, hit enter, and you will see a lot of things. And one is from Microsoft, and another one is from Kaushik Chatterjee. So if you are going to see my name with our logo like Let Code, and then followed by the Playwright, just click on the install. And yeah so here already we have the explanation we have the instruction what to do what not to do but i will show you in a video okay so if you go to the marketplace so here you can see like already we have this this is not like new already we have like 40,000 users so here we have only one scenario like whenever it see a test or describe block or test block it will have the lens lens in the sense like if I go to any of my test file, let's say we are going to go within this login user or maybe register user. So here you can see like we have this uh, uh, code lens. So execute playwright test, right? So if you have like a, a describe block, it will give you like, uh, yeah. So this is a describe, right? So it will say like execute playwright suite and this is going to be like your test okay so that's known so once we click on that of course it's going to execute the test so for example if i click on this execute playwright test so here you can select npx playwright test then followed by the file name and followed by the uh, suit name and then followed by the test name so we have this so that it will run the particular test okay and the latest version is version um, 2.0.3. Okay, so here you can select the test is running. Of course, we know what is going to happen. So I'll just close this terminal. Okay. Now, what are the things we can do from this here is basically we can run based on the environment. So if I go to this playwright runner by Kaushik, if you click on this, you can see like we have few uh, uh, basically your environment so in your case when you install it for the first time you might not see this so just click on this open setting it will take you to the environment setting of this particular extension so here you have to give like edit in json now by default i have given like no environment that means if you are not using any environment you can just click on this environment and that's fine or else if you have like develop you have staging if you have a uh, production you can give something like this or else of course you can add your customs for example let's say that you have like qa1 environment and it's en environment is going to be like test underscore or whatever you your environment is right so here you will see like uh, qa1 okay so and of course comma yeah so this is one uh, this one is like your qa1 you can similarly add like qa2 q 3 or uat whatever environment you have you can add and then you just add this so what is this this is basically your environment set so this is how we set in the terminal right so you can just pass it here and what will be rest of the code in the sense like it will be like npx player at test and then followed by the suit name then followed by the test name in case that is how it is going to work so whatever you want to pass uh, you can pass it over here now you can see we have this qa1 earlier it was not there so once you type and save the file it will be here so if i click on this now it will be like default you can get a uh, notification also like it is default environment set to something okay now if i go back to my any of the tests let's say this uh, auto wait demo right so here you can select execute playwright test so if i click on this notice this terminal terminal will be open uh, by itself so now it says like test environment k1 and then followed by this particular command okay so that's how it's going to execute let me close this of course it's going to run so let's not waste time okay now if i go back to my uh, runner configuration now i can i can change so i don't want to run in qa1 rather i like to run in my production just go and click this one okay now if i click on the same test it's going to run against my production okay so yeah here you can select test run equal to product and that's it it's very very simple and very useful extension okay now a few of the drawbacks are here for example if i go back to this auto wait demo test where you can select my awesome test suite and then again my awesome test my awesome test and my awesome test so if i click on this particular like my awesome test 3 it will not execute the 3 but it will also execute all the other tests as well because uh, as per the playwright documentation your test name should be always unique even though we have like one two three which is kind of unique but it's not uh, unfortunately it's running just that one 
okay let me give you another example so uh, yeah so here also you can select my awesome test is there right so if i click on this so this is my test block and this is my test suite describe block right so where i have three tests so now you can see like it's running three so it ignored this particular test and it is executing because the name are matching and grep command always works based on the contains not the uh, double equals or triple equals it always checks for the includes or contains so that is how it works so there is one drawback i cannot say drawback it's that is how the grep command is used so be cautious like all your test commands are going to be unique of course it is not like great like as compared to the microsoft but it is very helpful at least in my case I'm, i have multiple environment and i have to run each test in every time to while developing the script so i use this so that's the reason i have uh, modified the existing one and i have published it in the vs code uh, marketplace okay so that's it if you have any queries feel free to ask me in the comments or go to our github repository so if you go to this uh, uh yeah here you can see you can go to the issues and just log try to log if you're facing anything probably i will take a look and of course it's open source you can go and learn from it go and check the code uh if you want to learn how to do how to develop this do let me know in the comments i'll be happy to do that and here after i believe i i will be able to uh, make videos make tutorials at least like three or four in a week so i'm hoping for the best okay so that's it for my sides if you have any queries feel free to ask me in the comments i'll be happy to reply Bye bye take care